Hello everyone, welcome back to the Retro Football Kit YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're looking at the legend, Roberto Baggio and his career in football shirts. So yeah, Baggio career in football shirts. This is a bit of a series on this channel that started with Ronaldinho and his career in football shirts that was suggested to me a while back. I'm continuing on this series because you know what? In that video, I got loads of lovely comments from you guys saying, you know, you love the series, you want to see more. And I really appreciate that. So I'm going to do another one, episode two, right here, right now. Baggio. Make sure you get in the comments and let me know who else you'd want to see in this series, what other legends you'd like me to take a look at. Uh, and before we get into the video, make sure you check out the website, retrofootballkits.co.uk. Link will be in the description. All the shirts you see here, every shirt that I hold in this video is for sale on our website. All those plus thousands and more. Link is in the description. Make sure you check it out. Right, let's get into the video. So I'm starting this story in Florence where in 1985, Fl Florentina bought Roberto Baggio from Vicenza for 1.5 million. He had a bit of a slow start to his Viola career. He had a couple injuries, a couple knee injuries, which meant the first couple of seasons he didn't really get going. But of course, after that, he got the ball rolling, literally, and started to become one of Florentina's best ever players. The 1988-89 season was really his true breakthrough at Fiorentina, where he, under manager Sven-Goran Eriksson, led his Fiorentina side to the Coppa Italia quarterfinals, scoring nine goals on the way. He also scored 15 goals in the Serie A that year, which helped Fiorentina finish seventh place, which he got them a UEFA Cup spot. The shirt he was wearing during this 88-89 season is probably one of the best. It was during that time period where Florentina used the Fleur de Lys kind of hybrid F badge that they had for a while in the 80s. I really like that. It really makes it quite classy. Also, the shirt has this shiny uh, plus matte material using the ABM logo across the whole shirt to really give it a nice bit of shine, bit of finesse, bit of silkiness. Really, really cool, cool classy shirt. In 1990, Baggio was sold to Juventus for eight million which was a bit of a world record transfer at the time, but this caused absolute riots in Florence because the fans were so unhappy with this exchange. But after a couple of years in Turin, Baggio was made captain for the 1992-93 season, which ended up being a very successful time. He helped Juventus win his first and only European competition trophy, where he won the UEFA Cup, where they beat Borussia Dortmund 6-1 on aggregate. He actually scored twice and assisted once over the two legs. They finished fourth in the Serie A. Baggio got 21 goals and six assists in the league and managed to tally up 30 goals across all competitions. This is one of the iconic Juventus shirts, made famous by that UEFA Cup win, but also the beautiful hidden details within this shirt. We have it here. And my favourite element is the small, small, subtle details you can see within the shirt. So there's like this kind of cross checkerboard pattern across the whole shirt also uv badges inside of the shirt in the shiny material that really kind of have a subtle element of class to this shirt we also have the yellow away one here from that season um look at this man look at this this is absolutely gorgeous it contains that same subtle pattern within the shirt but of course this is bright yellow with blue accents just an absolute stunner we also have a couple of Baggio Juve shirts like this 94-95 one here. This is probably one of my favourite Juve shirts ever. Just look at that beautiful colour with the Juve badge, stars, Deone, Denone, all the words, all the niceness. Love that kit. <laughs> Baggio had a long and great career with his national team. Italy, of course, uh, started in 1990 wearing this shirt right here. But also he went on to score 27 goals in 56 appearances for his club. But unfortunately, I have to speak about one time period and I'm going to talk about the heartbreak of 1994. Everyone watching this video probably knows the story of 1994 where Baggio pretty much single-handedly got Italy to the final of a World Cup where they met a very pragmatic Brazil side. In the burning hot sun of California, the final ended nil-nil after 90 minutes and also after extra time, which resulted in penalties. And with the deciding penalty coming at Baggio's feet, Brazilians probably fought the worst, but unfortunately the divine ponytail missed his penalty, shocked the world and Brazil won that year. Such a heartbreaking time for Italy, for Baggio himself, like it would have haunted him for ages after that. On a lighter note, let's talk about the kits. Firstly, let's talk about the jacket that I'm wearing. Literally, I any chance I get to put this jacket on, I do. I absolutely love it. This was the training gear for that year. Uh, and of course, the kit itself, beautiful, beautiful blue kit. And inside the beautiful polo color, there's 
just triangle designs that have the Italian flag colours in them. That's also represented on the cuffs. And then all over, there's an Italian badge that kind of appears in shiny material across the whole shirt, really bringing out like the dimension of the kit. It's it's absolutely stunning. Really, really nice. Unfortunately, they didn't win the World Cup, but they won the kit. <laughs> That makes sense. Also, whilst we're talking about Italy, I have to talk about this kit right here. I've expressed my love for this kit on the channel before. This is my favourite Italy shirt. Baggio got to wear it. It's the 1995 kit. I just had to throw it in there because, come on, look at it. It's beautiful. After winning the 1994-95 season, Juventus decided Baggio was no longer in their plans. So, Baggio was linked with some huge, huge clubs, of course, Inter Milan, Real Madrid, Barcelona, and even some English sides like Manchester United and Blackburn. Imagine Baggio at Blackburn. <laughs> He ultimately ended up at AC Milan and Juventus actually made a huge, huge mistake as he would lead AC Milan to win the Serie A title and became one of many few players to win the league in, with consecutive two different teams. He scored seven goals and got 12 assists, which made him the highest assist provider of the league that year. This is a very popular time period for AC Milan. They won a lot in this time period. It's a very dominant era for them and it's remembered fondly for obviously the football and Baggio, but also just the beautiful, beautiful kits. The 95-96 collection is one of the best you'll ever see. It's very true, traditional and very Milan. So the home, sponsored by Iconic 90s brand Lotto is a very traditional Milan home kit. Beautiful black and red stripes complemented with a nice polo collar. The away is a very different take on the usual white. So normally they have a white base with some sort of red and black coming across the shirt. But instead this year was the first time we saw a red and black stripe going up and straight up the shirt and this also had a beautiful checkerboard pattern within the material then there's a very striking all yellow third shirt and finally to top it all off there's a beautiful funky blue fourth shirt that has loads of geometric patterns scattered across the whole of the shirt a lot going on really cool really different and this just collection of kits is one of the most perfect collections all four kits just absolutely beautiful and work together beautifully. In his later years, Baggio was all about proving people wrong. So after complications with Milan, he ended up going to Bologna, where he was aiming to keep the club from getting relegated. He actually scored 22 goals in the Serie A, a personal best with nine assists, leading Bologna to a ninth place finish. He then got his dream move to his boyhood club, Inter Milan, where he'd wear the iconic black and blue shirts, these two that we have right here, and he'd play with legends like R9 Ronaldo, Zanetti, Simeone, and even a young Andre Perlo. Unfortunately at Inter he never really found success and more complications with the manager led him to become a free agent in the 2000-2001 season. He would then go on to make a similar decision to the Bologna one where he'd go to a lower league side and aim to not get them relegated. So he went to Brescia which was his final club and during the four years that Baggio were there they had their best ever run in Serie A where they did not get relegated. He would wear those iconic bold v-shaped designs like this one right here at Brescia and actually his number 10 shirt got retired but as he became quite quickly one of their best ever players. So overall Baggio had a great great career wearing some of the best football shirts of the 90s. You have to be a little bit jealous of the guy. Uh, that's my Baggio video career in shirts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, let me know who else you'd want to see in this series. This I love doing this series. The research I get to deep dive into a player's kind of history, his career and also just the beautiful shirts that he's in. So I love it. Before I go, make sure you check out the website, every shirt that I've held in this video, all these beautiful ones here, they're all on the website, so make sure you check it out, retrofootballkits.co.uk is the website, the link is in the description, I appreciate you all, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.